I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Hey, don't feel for uh, don't feel sorry for these people um that live in Chicago, New what York, people? What people? Washington D.C. Be be specific. Well, you should feel sorry for the conservatives that live there. They can't get out of there. You, you talking about feel sorry for them? You talking about Negroes again? No, I'm just talking about these uh these uh blue cities like Philadelphia. All the people live there. Mm-hmm. When you see bad things go uh, wrong there, it's like this. This is what these people voted for. Like Washington D.C. That's another shithole. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they're having a real bad problem with uh, the Negroes stealing stuff. You know, Washington, D.C. is like over 80% black. Don't have any sympathy for them. Yeah, you shouldn't have any sympathy. Don't have any sympathy. Yeah, don't, don't, don't show any empathy or sympathy for these people. When I see it, I laugh. It's like, yes, more, please, more crime. Give them what they want. Yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm going to um, show you something. Check out how the, the constituents of these cities, how they think. It's disturbing. <laughs> Two people who work at the CVS in Columbia Heights, a big group of kids, like 45 or more, walk in before school, after school, and late at night to steal chips and drinks. They even throw the food and beverages on the ground and stomp on them, leaving behind a big mess. Fox 5 did witness teens doing that while inside the business and even after they walked outside. Staff at CVS have been alerted that thieves are aware of when new shipments come in, and that's when they target the store. We're told that street vendors are allegedly paying people to go in and steal stuff so they can resell it. Some D.C. residents we spoke with actually expressed sympathy towards the people wiping out the aisles. I'm stuck. I mean, it's bad to do at the same time. They're probably doing it for a reason. They need those things, but they shouldn't just be going in and clearing the shelves because this isn't sustainable for the store. A lot of folks actually can't afford any of the things in there. I'm not saying that ceiling has to be the solution to that, right? However, I don't know, maybe if the city could provide more accessible resources to unhoused or under-income folks that can provide them like hair care, bodily care, hygiene care, etc., that could be an option. So he just wants some more free stuff. That's how you take care of it. Oh, it's free the, stuff. That's the city's fault. They ain't providing enough resources for the Negroes to live there. That is disturbing, man. How can people be this stupid? Actually standing up for the criminal. Not standing up for the corporation, but they standing up for the criminals going and taking these, that time these we, things. Remember that time we got caught shoplifting when we was kids? Yeah. Man, we was hungry. I wanted something to eat. Yeah. You know? I needed them M&Ms. Hey, man, I was that, hungry. Remember what that white man said to you when he grabbed you? Kevin had a bunch of M&Ms, right? Kevin sound like a damn, like a damn, <laughs> you sound like a damn, you can hear all the stuff go. Kevin sound smart. like a medicine cabinet. <laughs> when he was walking, this white guy said, come here, you little nigga. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with you, man? He started taking all his stuff off. He said, don't you ever come here. If you do, I'm calling the cops. That's a good white man. <laughs> <laughs> he set us straight. Why was you walking so slow? I ran out the I store. was petrified, man. I was nervous. I'm not a criminal. He didn't have to call me the N-word. That was uncalled for. He could have said, stop it there, young man. What you doing is wrong. <laughs> Did he really have to call me in work? No. He yeah. took it too far, man. Yeah. Well, it was a, what was that, a Kroger? Kroger supermarket. Yeah. He was about what? About 10, 11. I think we were younger than that. He's about 10, 11. About 9, 10. Yeah, about 9, 10. I was young. Yeah. Hungry. Desperate. Po. I was out of my mind. <laughs> He was out of your mind. Yeah, probably hadn't eaten in two days. <laughs> Maybe we should be more like that black fella and the white woman. Show some, uh, show some empathy. Show some sympathy. Just because you need something doesn't give you the right to steal it. Like, I need a a, a Ferrari. Does need- that mean I should go steal it? Maybe. No, a Ferrari would complete me. It's all I ever wanted. Pick up any girl I want, get the attention I want, it will complete me as a man. <laughs> hey, Kev, get serious. Serious. These people in there stealing, right? 
selling it to other vendors, man. This is organized crime. You know that, right? These are savages, young savages. You need to be arrested. You know what I see in the future for Washington, D.C.? The same thing that's going on in uh, San Francisco, Chicago, CVS, Walgreens, yeah. Walmart. They're moving out of the inner cities because they can't turn a profit. It's too many. Um, too much diversity. Yeah, it's an infestation of diversity. Yeah, it's the such thing as too much diversity. You can never have enough white people in the neighborhood, but you can have too much diversity. And that's a fact. I got hey. FBI statistics that back up my theory. Hey, Kevin, all white people ain't great neither. You know that, right? I didn't say that. Did I say that? You put words in my mouth. I'm just saying the bad white people is just not as bad as the bad black people. What about Charles Manson? What about Jeffrey Dahmer? Well, they're the exception. Ted that's, Bundy. That's not the standard. Not every white Adolf man's... Hitler. These, these are crazy people, man. Yeah. All races have the ability and capacity to be evil and wrong. Really? Equally, yeah. Equally? Yeah. Have you seen FBI statistics? That's because of racial profiling. Man. Here we go. Liberal Keith's here today. Hey, everybody, say hi to Liberal Keith. <laughs> giveaway going we're giving away a four bronco with thirty thousand dollars in upgrades it's been lifted yeah not raised lifted <laughs> and this truck has got sentimental value right it's got sentimental value my friend nathan hughes nathan hughes is a january sixer he's a patriot he's fighting for his country he was arrested Biden's, and Biden's fbi arrested him for no reason in in the, uh in the giveaway truck yeah, so he was testing it out. You know, white people got to test out things for the give it away. <laughs> and if you, when you enter the win, you also win $10,000 in cash if you win the truck. Go to officialhogswins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically entered to win. Don't forget, this is a show truck. It's got $35,000 in upgrades. I told him that. No, you didn't. I think you forgot. Well, I didn't hear you. Yeah. 